Hi, my name is Lucy and I'm studying a Digital and Technology Solutions degree apprenticeship with QA. Today I'll be going through some of the internet's most asked questions about apprenticeships. <laughs> oh, <laughs> lunch rush me. <laughs> How apprenticeships work. So with apprenticeships, um, you tend to spend around 20% of your working week uh, towards your learning. So that could be in university or studying for assignments and then 80% towards uh, normal on the job sort of day-to-day -day work. So that could be in an office or if you work in the trades, out on site, anywhere like that. So how apprenticeships benefit employers? Friendships are known to plug skills gaps. What I mean by this is that friendships help to bring in new people to an industry that can um, be upskilled to provide new skills such as uh, coding in digital and technology sectors, as well as anything else to do with like law or anything like that. So how are friendships are funded? The best part about friendships are that you don't have to pay for them as a student. Um, they're funded entirely by the government levy, which your employer pays into as well, um, but that's only a small percentage for them. So you have no student debt as well, um, and it's yeah entirely self-funded. So how to apply for apprenticeships? There are lots of different ways you can do this. So that could be online uh, for a careers fair or for your careers advisor at schools. So your careers advisor will be able to give you apprenticeship vacancies that are more local to you. Um, but if you fancy going out further afield, you could apply online, go up to maybe Scotland or Wales, anywhere like that, where they've got apprenticeship vacancies there. So how much do apprenticeships pay? Uh, this is an interesting question. It does generally depend on the sector, your employer, your location. Uh, a lot of different friendship companies and organizations out there pay things differently. So for example, some in London may pay more than others based in say Birmingham. Uh, but again, it was all down to the employer. Most of the time they'll pay above the minimum wage um, for your age group as well. But it's again down to you researching what sort of friendships you like and what sort of area um, and what sort of salary you're looking for as well. <laughs> Can apprenticeships be part-time? Uh, to my knowledge, no. Um, the way apprenticeships are structured is that you get 20% of your week towards off-the-job learning. So that'd be towards your university, your college, or any assignment. And then 80% as a normal working employee doing your day-to-day -day job. So second one, can apprenticeships start at any time? Uh, yes, most apprenticeship vacancies happen any time throughout the year. It does generally depend on the employer and the provider, so they're not just limited to the academic year in September and October. My advice would be to set up alerts uh, so you can see which companies you're interested in have vacancies at which point during the year so you don't miss out on it. Can apprenticeships lead to university? Yes. There are usually two types of apprenticeships. Uh, so there's normal apprenticeships and then there's degree apprenticeships. Degree apprenticeships are bachelor's and master's level degrees. Uh, and other apprenticeships are more focused on GCSEs and A-levels. So they're more uh, levels two, three, and four. If you go for a non-degree apprenticeship but would like to progress to a degree apprenticeship, have that conversation with your employer because there may be a, an opportunity to, for you to progress higher once you finish. Or even if you would like to progress a degree afterwards, again, you can go search in other companies um, and do what's right for you that way. Can apprenticeships be unpaid? Uh, no. So by law, your employer must pay you a wage. You can find out the different wage scales on the gov.uk website. Uh, these are dependent on age as well and experience. So you may find if you're, say, 16 or 18 in your first year of your apprenticeship, you'll be paid less but this does depend on the employer as well. Um, so do look out there for what sort of salary ranges works with you when you look for vacancies. Can apprenticeships be considered as work experience? Yes, definitely. You're treated uh, like any other employee. So when I do my apprenticeship, so as an IT consultant, 
I work four days a week um, as a normal employee, and this counts as work experience. By the time I finish my apprenticeship, I not only do have a bachelor's degree, I also have three years worth of work experience that will help me in my career as I progress. So the last one. Can apprenticeships be transferred? To my knowledge, yes. So I have had friends who've started their apprenticeships with different companies and for whatever reason haven't been able to continue, say if the funding's been pulled or if they've been made redundant. So they have been able to transfer to another employer to continue their apprenticeship. Um, but this is down to personal experience, circumstances and your new employer in general. But that is generally a yes to that question. That is the internet's top six questions for can apprenticeships. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this has been of some use.